Hey guys, it's Jess. I'm back and I'm currently sitting outside on my porch. So I hope you don't mind the traffic noise. I will try and drown it out with some kind of, you know, music thing that I'll put in. I don't know yet. But today is story time and it's going to be my stalker story. It's kind of not as dramatic as some that I've seen on YouTube. But it kind of is at the same time, so I shall dive right on in. I, this happened when I was at TAFE. TAFE is like college, basically if you don't go to university or whatever. Um, I was doing a degree at the time and um, I didn't have many friends. I was new and I don't know, like, you know when you're kind of going through that awkward phase and you don't know what's happening kind of with certain people that you, you know, try to get to know. Um, this girl was trying to get to know me. I don't know why. Um, apparently she liked me, I don't know. But So I had actually been warned by a couple of people in my class that not to be friends with this girl because she was into witchcraft and she seemed a bit weird. But I'm quite open-minded about people and I generally don't judge people on first basis like that. You know, I'm like, whatever, I get to know people before I judge things like she dressed in, in goth and, you know, seemed pretty interesting, I thought. So I'm like, okay, I'll get to know her, you know, whatever. I was actually studying hospitality at the time and I'm like, you know, she seemed pretty smart and she obviously got into the course, so why not get to know her? So we had coffee a couple of times at the school cafeteria, which is fine. Friday rolls around and she invites me to this party. I'm like, cool, whatever, it's my first kind of, you know, school themed party, what have you. I wanted to, you know, try and get to know some of the kids, um, as you do. I didn't know anyone else there really apart from some of my classmates. Um, Anyway, I only had a couple of drinks because I didn't want to get plus at a place that I didn't really know. But she was like drinking pretty heavily. She tolerated her drinks really well, except she was getting like really, really happy drunk. And I'm just like, you know, dancing away, yada yada, having a good time. Anyway, she's getting really, really touchy feely, like grabbing my boobs. You know, like, and I'm like, really not okay with that. I'm like, I'm just not comfortable with people that I don't know that well touching me, especially like at a new school or party or whatever. I'm just not cool with it. It makes me really awkward. And I passed it off as, you know, like a laughing joke and just kind of pushed her off. But she kept doing it and she kept putting her arm around me and I knew that she was drunk. So I passed it off as that and we ended up going home. So Saturday came round. I was home by myself, wasn't up to much, and she calls me going, do you want to hang out? And I'm like, sure, you know, we can hang out and come around. So she comes around, and she's still drunk. I didn't realize that she'd been drinking that much, that she's still intoxicated. I'm like, really? Anyway, she's like dancing, you know, or literally swaying. Anyway. <sighs> She's like trying to grab at me again and I'm just really not in the mood. I'm like, no, like can you just go home and you know sleep it off or something. So she finally goes and like she gives me the biggest greasy. Anyway, Monday rolls around and I go to school and we've got lockers. I go to my locker, I have to get my books because Monday's theory. Because a couple of days of school is like, you know, practical and a couple of days of school is theory. So Monday and Tuesday is theory. Anywho, I go to my locker. At my locker is a dead pigeon with its head cut off. Hmm. Thrilling. Anyway, her locker is like literally across the hall or corridor. And she gives me the biggest greasy. Like literally if looks could kill. So I technically don't know if the dead birds from her. But I was warned that she was a bit weird. Anyway. 
she didn't speak to me for that day I'm like whatever I don't I just ignore passive aggressive people because I can't be bothered with that shit you know I'm, I'm just like what else in my letterbox you know I check my mail no mail but another dead bird she obviously knew where my mail where my address was so I'm like great fantastic again it had it hit its head cut off so I'm getting a little bit weirded out by this time as you would I'm home alone for the next two weeks because my family is on holiday and I'm thinking to myself if it's her what the hell is she gonna do anyway I get rid of the dead bird walk up to my steps to my front door there's another dead bird three dead birds in one day a little bit weird wouldn't you think mmm anyway that night I kept getting phone calls with like really heavy breathing going like in the end I just blocked the number and didn't answer anymore so I'm like whatevs you know the next morning at school got ready nothing else had happened I was fine I didn't even have the TV on because I was doing homework for school that night um, when I was walking into school I felt like I was being stared at I don't know why but in class the teacher had come to me and pulled me out of class to say that the girl that I've been friends with had literally tried killing her boyfriend and her flatmate and is now in a psychiatric ward apparently had been on all that morning's news all on the radio's news all over you know the internet news at that time this is like a good eight years ago now if not more um, so yeah that was my stalker story please give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of thing I'll see you in another video soon please subscribe comment down below have you had anything like this or weird happen um, and yeah I'll, I'll link all my social media down below and see you in another video coming to you soon